Hey guys, Eggman here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we made our way through Hyrule Castle, all the way up to this boss door right here. And this time, in the finale of Twilight Princess, we are going to be heading through this boss door and taking on Ganondorf. So, let's head in here. All right, so you step out here, it's already setting the atmosphere. We got this stormy weather, no music, all silent, except for the wind howling, howling by. And let's step into the castle right here. Welcome to my castle. So, you're Ganondorf? I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Minna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. Pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that, cho that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Ha! <laughs> such conceit! But if you are the only, one of the chosen wielders of power as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you. Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Very well. Deny me then. Yes, try to deny me. You and your little friend. Both of you, faithless fools, who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. So you choose, 
and so you shall feel my wrath. Alright, and now we have to deal with Ganon's puppet, Zelda. So, she's going to create this ball of light. And what's a Zelda game without one of these things where you have to bounce light back and forth? There we go. Okay, we don't get to attack. That's just how you do it. So yeah, what's a Zelda game without, you know... <laughs> Sorry about that noise, guys. That was kind of terrifying. Um, yeah, every Zelda game has one of these things where you bounce energy back with your sword. <laughs> Go to the side! Whew. This is sketchy, man. So sketchy. Okay, what? Okay, now we got to bounce the energy back. For this, you want to swing a little bit early. Come on. Yeah. So yeah, you want to swing early for that energy, or else you're gonna get nailed by it. And what is she doing now? Oh god, get off this. That's going to hurt you if you stay on that. So uh, you want to get off that uh, little triangle of power there. Uh, Alright, what are you doing now? Alright. Ouch! That hurt me. Alright. What's happening now? Ah! Oh my god, he's coming in for another second swipe. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. What now? Alright, here we go. I'm ready. Oh, that was close. No! Friggin, I... Link swings twice for some reason, even though I'm only swinging once. Oh my god, Link, you suck. I wanted to roll out of the way, but he was not listening to me. Alright, what's happening now? Okay, let's get a little bit further away. Alright, there we go. Don't think it's over yet, Link. We still got a while to go. Alright, and here is second form of the final boss fight, Dark Beast Ganon. So, oh, he's going to disappear, or he's going to knock down all these pillars. Oh man, I missed. But what you want to do is, uh, Oh, come on, I didn't have time. Uh, take out your bow and arrow when he charges at you. He should, yeah, he's gonna disappear. And let's talk to Minna. Did you see his belly? That's where he was injured long ago, during his sentencing. That's his weak point. 
So he's going to create these red portals. They're always going to be beside each other. And then when it turns blue, that means it's going to be coming out. And he hit me again. I'm not going to be able to get to him, I don't think. Frick. God damn it. So what you have to do is, like, roll out of the way just in time. So, let's see, where are these? There's red, red, red. Red, blue, he's coming out. Oh my god, he just comes so fast. But at least we can still get some attacks off. So that's good. Still worked out for us. Alright, where are they? Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently he was right on top of me. I was not expecting that. Ah! Okay, this is just not fair, man. I did it. I actually rolled all the way properly, except I rolled to the wrong side. Move your tail. No! Ah! Okay, where are your... I hear them. Ah! Alright, it's okay, it's okay. That he hit me. We're still gonna be able to get some attacks off on him. Ow. I'm not doing good at all this fight. Where are these platform or portals? I wanna step back this way. What? That's cheating. I hear Minna. What what is she saying? How am I supposed to do this? He's changing his strategy. Not only can you confuse them, but you won't be able to attack. Oh, that's right. Beast against beast. How about we match evil beast against the sacred beast? That's right. We have to transform into a wolf now. And get owned by him right there. So, where is it? There they are. Oh my god, I don't like this angle. Alright, and it's gonna be right there. And we gotta stop him with Minna. And we gotta throw him out of the way. We can attack like this. You can change into Link and attack if you want. But I'm just sticking with that. I wanna grab this fairy over there and uh, get to full health again. Alright, moved out of the way for that one. It's okay. Oh, he's coming out of this one. No, I didn't want to charge at him. God damn it. So you gotta have precise timing with that. Right when it comes up, you gotta press A. Alright, there we go. That is Dark Beast Ganon defeated. Princess, I, I, say nothing, Minna. Your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured.
spirits of the light, wield us the great power that shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. In my honor of need, grant me the light to banish evil. Link. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep within range of my arrows. Alright, so what we're gonna do is spur on an opponent a couple times. Alright, where'd he go? This is not a good start. There he is. Dope. That's not how you do it. Alright, Zelda's a beast somehow and stays on the horse. Stop this! Stop it! I don't like this! Ah, that's not fair. Come on, Zelda, fire your friggin' light arrows. Stop slacking off. Oh my god. I'm gonna murder Zelda soon and take her arrows from her because she's doing shit all. Oh my god. There we go, finally Zelda. Oh, you suck Zelda. Oh my god, she missed. Ah! Okay, I'm getting completely out of the way of these guys. Now where's Ganondorf? How did he get behind me? Okay, here you go, Zelda. Perfect chance. Fire the arrow! There you go. I want to spur on a opponent a couple times. That's all I get one hit. Oh my god, Zelda. That wasn't even close. That, you got a nice shot, Zelda. There you go, Zelda. Finally! I did it! That only took like 10 minutes longer than it should have. is not funny Ganondorf. An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire? To take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light forever. And here is the final form, Dark Lord Ganondorf, and our very final sword duel. Oh, I had a chance right there, man. So what you want to do is stand... Oh, shit. Stand... Shh. I want some hearts, that's what I want. 
Art, art. Uh, get away. There's a fairy in one of these things, I know. Let's see if he's gonna run at us. So, you wanna stand about something like this. Okay, maybe not that far away. Made it a little bit closer. And. Okay, he did a few times. Come on, man, charge at me. Okay, yeah, he's gonna do that move if you get too close. He's gonna do the jump thing if you get too far away. Oh, I had the chance opportunity there. But we found the fairy at least. So maybe stand something like this far away. I don't know. And what you want to do is you just want to tap the chance button, tap the A button. You don't want to hold on to it. That's a problem I made before. And last time I was doing this and you just can't do anything to him. So you want to tap the chance button, tap the A button, and then you want to mash A as fast as possible. Uh, when your swords are together. Oh, sh shoot. So tap it, and then mash down A. Alright. And that is two now. All right, here's the third one. So go like this. And be ready this time, because he's gonna go on the ground. And finishing move. Do not think this ends here. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood.
What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? All right, and with that, that is Twilight Princess, finally defeated. Man, feels good to finish this game. I mean, I love this game. It's been a great game to play, but like I've said many times now, it there's been so many things coming up that I haven't been able to record. I think I'm pretty sure it was... December 2012 that I started recording this and I don't finish it until uh, uh, It's August 2013 right now, but when this goes up, it's going to be uh, September 20 2013 so That is a long time that <laughs> Almost a year well like three quarters of a year. That is a long time for one. Let's play That's 75 episodes long so yeah, man, it, uh, it feels good to be done, and it's also sad at the same time, you know, it's always sad at the end of a Let's Play, especially with such a great game uh, like Twilight Princess, where uh, it's, it's just, I love like that ending cutscene, and now we get to see Minna in her true form right there, uh, the true Twilight Princess who this game is named after. And yeah, it it's just so awesome. And some of these cutscenes throughout the adventure are my favorite cutscenes in like any Zelda game. Um, yeah, they're are really good. It's uh this game has a perfect mix between like you know there's some humor, like there's always humor in Zelda games, but. I think some it gets to be like too much where you just can't take it seriously anymore. I guess that's more so for like Mario games. Zelda games are usually quite a bit less than Mario games, but uh, yeah, this this game has I think like a perfect mix between humor at some points, but it still is serious at a lot of points. And like I mentioned before, I love this game because you've got so many different objectives that you're trying to complete like uh, there's the few shadows at the very beginning which we were trying to collect um, and then uh, the mirror of twilight which we were trying to get also but then there's also other things like uh, f like save the children at first um, and then after that it's like uh, you're trying to save Ilya's memory because her memory's gone and then you know trying to save Zelda because she passed on her power to Minna and um, and then there's even smaller objectives like that like I'm just seeing right now like uh, help this uh, Zora child out with their problems and I think he was sick before or something and we had to save them if I remember correctly and yeah just all those different things like that make this game one of the greatest Zelda games in my opinion I absolutely love this game um, I think this game is either first or second on my list I know a lot of people would hate me for this but I I like this game better than Ocarina of Time. I know Ocarina of Time was the first one, the revolutionary one, all this stuff, but I never really played it as a kid. I had Majora's Mask when I was younger and I played that a little bit, but I really I was awful at Zelda games when I was younger. Um so you know, I I never played that game. I think I might have played it a couple times. Somebody brought it to my daycare every once in a while when he whenever he came but he really didn't come that often only once maybe a month probably less though um, and I, I love the game but I only got to play like the first 
uh, I don't know, probably I'd get to the first dungeon in the game and then I'd have to quit. I wouldn't even get to finish it. So uh, this was really my first Zelda game that I really played, that I actually played all the way through. Uh, I'm pretty sure I beat it when I was a kid in like grade 6 or 7 when it came out. Um, but I, I like obviously didn't get all 100% and I had to use a guide for that too even then. Um, oh, the children are going back. Oh, look at that. I guess I should have been paying attention a little bit. But yeah, this is the Zelda game that I first played through, first beat everything on. And yeah, that, that was what makes it one of my favorites. I also really like Skyward Sword. Uh, the new one because of the story that you get with um, Zelda and Link and how your childhood friends and then it gets progresses on to more uh, more than just that I really liked some of the cutscenes in that and how that game played out um, so yeah the the two Wii Zelda games are probably my favorite ones but then Ocarina of Time is right there in third place for sure, maybe even higher. It's been a while since I played it, so you know it might change perspectives. But I still think even if I played it, it would still be like second or third place. But yeah, I guess I guess those that's just my view on uh, Twilight Princess and the Zelda series and stuff. I got, I got a little more into it than I thought I would, but you know, it's alright. Oh my god, this episode's going on for a long time. But it's expect expected for the finale, I guess. Well, I guess this for farewell, huh? Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But, never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I now know the reason the goddesses left the Mirror of Twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind, and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do all right. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror's around, we could meet again. Link. I... See you later.
All right. And now the Mirror of Twilight has been destroyed. Never again will the Light and Shadow worlds be able to connect with each other. Never again will Link be able to talk to Minna, the one who was they journeyed together, their whole journey of saving both the Shadow and Light worlds against Zant and Ganondorf. They'll never be able to see each other again. But I think that's pretty much almost all the credits done. So I guess I'll just say now that it's going to be a little bit of a break before my next LP. At least two weeks for sure, I think. And yeah, I'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still deciding what I want to do. I definitely know what I want to do at a certain point, but it's just, I don't know if I want it to be my next one, or if I want my next LP, or if I want to do a short LP in between this one and the next game that I want to do. So I, I'm just deciding all of that out. But I definitely will be back. And yeah, and, and, I actually did it. I uploaded this video from every day forward from I think it was right after the Temple of Time I uploaded every day I, and I finished it off without missing a day like I said I would uh, it was a little bit hard at some points uh, last week when I was recording but I did it and I I'm happy that I I got it all out without missing a day it kinda <laughs> even though it doesn't really repay at all for missing all those days before but it just, I don't know, it makes me feel good that I actually, oh, excuse me, that I was actually able to do it for a while. So, yeah, is this the end right here? No, okay, more credits. I, I don't know what to say other than that. We've defeated Ganondorf. We've seen the true form of Minna. She has gone back to the Shadow Realm, and since she is a true ruler of the Twilight, she is able to destroy the Mirror of Twilight completely, not just partially like Zant did. Uh, nobody will ever be able to reassemble it again. And we saw something with Ilya here. Ah, uh, Link's returning home. I don't understand people who want to skip the credits. I I love the, the credits in games. It's just like it feels like it's a reward for beating the game. And I think that's how the designers want you to feel after beating a game that it's a reward. But some people just skip past it. But I love watching the credits, and I think this is actually the very end right here. So maybe maybe Ilian Link are. Uh, are together now, They're happy together. Uh, they can't see them loving nobody but each other. Turtles reference right there. And there is the end of the game. So, is it just going to stick on the screen or do I have to shut off my system or what? If I press A, what happens? Nothing. Okay, it looks like it's just hanging around on this screen until you shut the system off. So, with that Wow, that is a long episode. Jeez. <laughs> Almost 50 minutes long. Wow, that's going to take a long time to upload. Um, but yeah, with that, that is Twilight Princess. And I've explained uh, all my stuff about uh, the game and uh, that I'll for sure be back to Let's Playing. I just don't know when. Um, within the next month, for sure. 100%. But... Yeah, with that, we are going to end things off. Oh, something's happening. We're going to end things off right here. Uh, back to the main menu, okay. So, yeah, ending things off right here. Thank you so much for sticking through this Let's Play. Um, I really hope that I never have one like this again where I have to take so many breaks along the way. 
because so much stuff comes up. But yeah, we're going to end things off right here. Again, thank you very much for sticking through this Let's Play. And with that, I will see you guys, I guess, in the next Let's Play. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Goodbye.